Okay, this app. Time since. It maintains how long has it been since you did something. For example, for me, it's been three months since I restarted my computer. Or it's been 81 days since I strategized at work. Now, 81 days and then having the hours and minutes and seconds makes no sense, but I can change the format to something that's more easy to understand. And now, 11 weeks actually makes more sense. And then once you do something, you could just hit reset and the counter starts tracking from there on. I can even place a widget on my home screen that tells me how long I've been, let's say, working and then hit reset when I start again after a break. If I want to remember something to do, I simply schedule it to be sent to me as a reminder in the form of a notification. So let's say that I want to create a project plan and I want that reminder to be sent to me at 6. I'll just get a notification like that. I can then act on it and even if I don't, it stays in my notification tray right in front of me persistently until I mark it as done. The app is called Notally and it's seriously very effective if you really want to remember something to do. Any Tracker is an app that tracks and records changes in things that are of interest to you like prices of a product, social media growth, cryptocurrency or foreign currency changes. Now you can track all of this stuff. Now let's say you want to track price of a product on Amazon if in case it falls down. You can copy the URL, go back to the app, select website and now just paste the URL and then just Below that there's an OK, press that and the app will load that product page. For Amazon, just click on Extended so it can read the page better. Now scroll down and highlight the price only. Just verify it and then click on Proceed and now you can set a notification uh, that will be sent to you if in case the price fluctuates, goes up or goes down. So you can do this to track any changes in website, prices, stocks, currency, crypto, your fitness parameters and various social media attributes uh, for yourself. And so when I have a change in my Instagram followers, I get an update immediately. Now guys, I do have 30 promo codes for any tracker. So all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes for any tracker. I'll hand them out to you first come first serve basis. Next, if you like this home screen setup, obviously it's because of the wallpaper, but also how well the icons go with the wallpaper. They've got a very nice neon gradient vibrant vibe. The icon pack is called Lena and it's got close to 2400 custom icons built for you. So that should cover quite a lot of popular apps that are already installed on your phone. And if you see, the icons look absolutely stunning. And you know, you've got all your system icons as well, along with variation in terms of colors. So depending upon your custom home screen setup, you've got an icon that can go with it. And it does come with certain cloud baseball papers, but of course, feel free to use your own. And guys, I do have 30 promo codes for this icon pack. So all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there, ask me for promo codes to Lena icon pack. Next. It's become increasingly annoying to figure out a good TV show or a good movie to watch. But here's an app that can help you with that. It's called What A Watch. Now first let's appreciate the fact that not only can you filter by type and your favorite genre, but also which streaming app it is available on. But because titles on Netflix, let's say in the US, may not be available in say India, there's also a country filter to help you avoid that issue. And once you start getting recommendations, by the way, let me know how you like them in the comment section. But let's say you like a recommendation. You click on it, you get all the details along with links to preview the trailer and which apps it's streaming on. And if you like something, you can just hit the heart icon and that way it gets added to a list which you can then refer to later. So yeah, go ahead and try the app and see if it recommends some titles that you were probably looking or hoping to watch. And lastly, here's a file storage utility called Amaze File Utilities. Not only does it analyze your storage and tells you what is consuming how much space, but if you go into a deeper analysis, it's going to tell you things that you can take action against to actually clean up your phone. It tells me stuff like videos that are very large or downloads that are very old or recordings that are very old. Even does an analysis of apps and tells me which apps are taking a lot of network, for example. And I can then multi-select those apps and in one go, I can uninstall them. So I could also go into cluttered videos and just, you know, these are not great videos and I could probably delete them. Or if I quickly want to make some space, I directly head into large files and now I can just select, let's say the top heavy files and just by selecting six files, I can clear one GB of data. So it's really useful. 
All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Those were the six apps for the month of March 2023. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon. And don't forget to mark all. It really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, a quick update on my hand. So the plaster is off and everything seems to be in order. I'm healing pretty fast. I'm going to be wearing this brace for another two weeks. But now I'll be able to produce content a lot faster. I've been a little slow, but we'll catch up. And thank you all for all the comments that you guys had in my previous videos for the wishes. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.